All right, with all of that done, the only thing left to do is color the eyes blue. And I'm sure there's several ways you can do this, but the way I did it for this is I just went and created another adjustment layer and created a color balance. And what I did was uh, clicked on the layer mask just to make sure it was selected and came over here uh, made sure my foreground color was black hit alt or option backspace or delete and made sure the effect wouldn't be applied to the image so if I did that it's not affecting it so then what you do is zoom in we'll start with this eye zoom out just a little bit and grab the paintbrush and make it white. Uh, make your brush really soft with about a hardness of 8%. And just come on down here and scale your brush down and just paint it in. And the reason this is blue is just because I have the scion on the midtones pulled all the way over just so I can see what I'm doing. And you're just gonna sort of paint in the area. Now holding space and dragging. And then doing the same over on this side, which is a little bit more tricky because there's some hair right here. So we're gonna have to fix that in a second. And to fix the hair problem, just uh, make your fill color black and just come over here, and just off to the side, just sort of paint in and it'll just sort of feather it out. Now if we zoom out, look at what we have right here. Look at what we have over here, we've got more of a sky blue here and over here we've got more of just like a turquoise. So let's zoom in again. and in the midtones, make sure your scions drag like all the way down and your blue maybe drag it up a bit and the highlights uh, drag your scion down just a bit and I may be pronouncing scion wrong but anyways drag the blue up to maybe 30 and the shadows the shadows just put the blue at like plus 4 and the scion at negative 8 and now that the colors uh, sort of pops out more you can sort of see some flaw in the eyes so what you'll do is just make sure you got black selected make sure you're on the mask just come back in and go off to the side of it and just sort of feather it out zoom tool fit screen and there you have it vampire for more tutorials product reviews and more be sure to visit www.easystudio.com thanks for watching